First take will not be in Chicago for the NFL draft, but we still got you covered here in Bristol with all our hot topics in studio. And to the fans in Chi Town, we hope to see you again during a future road show. All right, moving on. Two days after Tom Brady's four game suspension was reinstated, two NFL owners told Bleacher Reports Jason Cole that his suspension is too harsh. And after talking with other owners, they agreed that a one or two game suspension is more reasonable. Drew Brees was on the Dan Patrick show, and he voices his displeasure with the current system. Forget the issue that's at hand here with, you know, the flight gate or whatever you want to call it. I think this is an issue again with. The fact that the commissioner's um, control and authority was challenged and, you know, the league is going to do whatever they can to make sure that people know that he is in this position to basically make these types of unilateral decisions and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Stephen A., have you gained any sympathy for Psycho Tom? Hell no. Look. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> no. I, 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 I don't. You know what makes me laugh about this? It's just amazing. Tom Brady, GQ Tom Brady. Yeah. You know, Tom Brady with the supermodel wife. Tom Brady, the multimillionaire. Tom Brady, you know, the four-time Super Bowl champion. Tom Brady, who played for the team, you know, convicted of Spygate. Tom Brady, involved with the team, you know, uh, involved with Deflategate. Tom Brady, we gonna feel sorry for Tom Brady? Let me tell you why I don't feel sorry for Tom Brady. Because Tom Brady is pointing his ire in the wrong direction. The direction that the ire needs to be pointed in is that of the Players Association. And I know guys in there, and I like them a great, great deal. And I'm not trying to cast any aspersions. I understand you can only do but so much when you're negotiating. You're going to get some, you're going to give some. You're going to win some, you're going to lose some. So I'm not denigrating them in any way. But there needs to be an elevated level of understanding when it comes to what transpired. The NFL has the power because it was negotiated in the collective bargaining agreement. If you didn't like it, Hold out and do everything you can to keep the, the commissioner from having the power. Drew Brees is a highly intelligent individual. He knows this. So you can lament all you want about the power that the league has. You know what? There are things in my country. There are things in your country. There are things in your country we might not like. We prefer that they were not there. But guess what? We had to give some. We had to lose some. Mm. That's the way mm. that it goes. You know, and Tom Brady needs <laughs> to listen to Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers, one of the great country singers mm -hmm. of all time. You can appreciate that. I, I'm, not a, a, I'm not you a You got to know when to hold. You are. He only likes folder. hardcore rap. No, yeah. when to walk away. <laughs> don't, don't, no, 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 no. Don't say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was sorry. beautiful, Kenny, though. You didn't sing it. I didn't sing it, Kenny. I didn't sing it. Well, I got it from the Geico commercials, too. I got it from the Geico commercials. Okay. But the point that I'm trying to make to you is this. When you look at all of those things, let's understand something here. You are the owners. Look, listen to what we're talking about. There's nothing that says that Tom Brady can't accept the four-game suspension, and then Roger Goodell turns around and reduces it to two. Roger Goodell's main mission is making sure that the fight comes to an end and that you're willing to accept whatever punishment is going to be handed down because it's within his authority and within his discretion mm -hmm. to hand that. Once that is unchallenged, then you can have a conversation. Because Roger, Goodell, because Roger Goodell may very well sit up there and say, I don't want to see Jimmy G, as in Jimmy Garoppolo, mm -hmm. quarterbacking for New England on yeah. a Sunday any more than you guys do. Mm -hmm. So guess what? I may very well reduce it to two games or one game because those same owners, instead of talking to the media, those same owners, instead of listening to the Drew Brees of the world, may actually come to me, Roger Goodell, and say, all right, case is closed now exercise discretion and let's lower mm -hmm. this penalty but the first order of business is to make sure that their authority isn't challenged i'm disappointed in drew Brees because drew Brees, who i love is not being as real and as authentic as i know him to be in terms of looking at the big picture he's being real because he still has animus towards roger goodell for obvious reasons with whole bounty gate which he's right to feel that way by the way drew Brees is not wrong but the point is those owners for example what if one of their subordinates tried to muscle them and make them do so what would their reaction be it first things first accept the penalty put on your big boy pants nobody's asking tom brady to admit guilt put it even though roger goodell has but in the end yeah.
put on your big boy pants and accept the fact you are not the commissioner. You're just a damn quarterback. As great as he is, I'm going to say it again. You're <laughs> just a damn quarterback. You ain't just. You, that's all he is. He's a quarterback. He's one of many players. He's better than most. He's one of the great better ones. Better than most? He's better than most. Better than all? He's better than most. <laughs> yeah. He's one of the great he's ones of all everyone. time. Oh, he's one of the great ones of all time, but he's just a damn quarterback. You're not bigger than the Shield. Know your place, humble yourself, and then we can talk. Okay, before I launch on this, before I unleash on about 70 of your points, whatever, I'm going to give you one and only one point. You are so correct. In the 11th hour, the NFL Players Association caved in that fateful night when we all wanted our football back. Remember that? Yep. In, in August, we said, gee, it's just it's not going to be the same. How many games are we going to miss? And they caved in and said, okay, just give us X amount of money. We'll give you your, your authority, your power, your absolute power. Right. But I think you would agree that there are spirits of contracts, you know, of, of clauses in contracts. There's a spirit of the clause where there are some boundaries to the abuse of that power. And I'm going to point out again, the chief judge who ruled pro Brady of the three judges who ruled the other day in the appellate court, the chief judge Katzman ridiculed Roger Goodell's abuse of power. He skewered it. He, he had all, he called it, you know, industrial justice. And one of the other judges who ruled for the NFL called it draconian in the penalty. Even you would say that was an absurdly harsh penalty for what was alleged to have been committed. Am I right about that? Absolutely. Four games? Absolutely. But my point is, is that where I jump off the wagon with you, my man Adam Shine, and so many other guys talking football is that I don't believe the four-game penalty was for deflate gate per se, meaning deflated footballs. I believe it was for lack of cooperation in whatever fashion okay. that they deem necessary. They believe that Tom Brady was a bit evasive. They believe that he was impeding their investigation to some degree, and he was somewhat uncooperative. So they wanted to send a message that okay. you don't get away with doing that. That is entirely different than, okay, the deflated footballs, it speaks right. to the integrity of the game, and we're going to hand you a four-game okay. suspension. Now, fair enough. But back to Molly's question. Do you have any new sympathy for Tom Brady's no. plight here? And you say, hell, hell no. no. Okay. I'm sensing. I like the way you say it, too. Yeah, I know. But go ahead. I am sensing that the public pendulum is starting to swing back toward Tom Brady here. I remind you, when he was introduced with all the former Super Bowl MVPs mm -hmm. at a Super Bowl that was played in his backyard, in his home area, right? In the Bay Area? The Bay Area, yep. He was roundly booed. Now, maybe that was because so many Broncos fans were there, and they just don't like Brady because he's an arch rival. Mm -hmm. But he was roundly booed, and he took it to heart by, by all accounts. Several people close to him and said he, he really did not like it. And the point is that I think some people, even the Brady haters, are starting to see what Goodell was up to, that he did choose to sacrifice Maybe the all-time greatest quarterback legacy of a quarterback who was then 38 years of age a year ago, just to get even with the Patriots for their history of cheating. You laughed at the word I used, but, but I believe they framed Tom Brady to get even with the Patriots. I believe that they deemed his career, his legacy, expendable just to get even with the history of cheating. And that is so outrageous that they would choose to do that. And I think some people are starting to see through that. I'm not, this isn't scientific, but I'm getting the vibrations that all of a sudden there is some sympathy building for Tom Brady. Now, let me finish with this last point. The sympathy would lead to let's reduce from four to two games. And, and according to the report, maybe some owners are saying, let's make it two games. That is such an insult to Tom Brady, who has worn the biggest boy pants in the league for the last two years, because he is going to fight this to the death. He doesn't want to accept two games. I believe he could have accepted two games a year ago on this. But he said, no, I am 1,000% innocent, so I'm going to fight it to the bitter end. And if it takes Supreme Court, which he probably can't get to, he would go to the Supreme Court with this. Let he doesn't want two games, That's because he doesn't want four games. Yes. He wants no game. Yes, you've mentioned
mentioned that on Thank several you. occasions. Feeling the vibrations is very mm -hmm. touching. <laughs> I, I will exactly say this to you. Let me say this to you, Skip Bayless. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> it's very, very interesting. And I'm <laughs> certainly not mm -hmm. I'm certainly not comparing the two. But I want y'all to stay mm -hmm. with me on this because I'm very serious, but I'm not obviously there's no comparison between the two. You know, once upon a time in the nineties, there was a guy by O.J. Simpson that obviously, you know, was indicted, double murder charges, stuff like that. One of the things that we pointed out as a society, whether it be black, white, Hispanic, whatever the case may be, even though people had their opinions about what happened or what did happen based on the evidence being disseminated mm -hmm. to us. Yep. One of the things that we consistently looked at was O.J.'s body language, O.J.'s demeanor. Does a guilty person act like this? Does a guilty person convey themselves like that or whatever? Now, obviously, that's an extreme case because we're talking, and we're certainly not talking about that when it comes to the great Tom Brady, who's a good man. But here's what I'm saying to you. We have, since that time, everything we do, no matter what incident a player gets in, we pay attention to their presentation, we pay attention to the delivery, we pay attention to how they come across to the masses. When the flake gate was en route, when we knew we were investigating this matter, when Tom Brady had to get up before the podium and speak, we sat right here and even you lamented how he came across, mm -hmm. how he handled himself, people who are innocent, don't seem like that, don't look like that, don't sound like that. And then you try to explain it away because you're talking about he's not accustomed to being up there. Even though he's a quarterback, he talks every Wednesday. You know, he's not but, accustomed but to he, doing it. He gives the media nothing. I understand. Nothing. But, 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 but let me finish. Okay. I'm glad you went there because he's accustomed to giving nothing because it's the Patriot way. And what Roger Goodell in the league office is saying, we ain't the damn media. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we ain't the Patriots either. We're the governing body who oversees the Patriots. So when you are so insulated and ingrained in this culture and their way of doing things to a point that is clearly detriment to your own self, mm -hmm. you don't get to then engage in revisionist history, piggyback off of everything and say, well, you know what? I was really innocent, but blah, blah, blah. You had your opportunity to defend yourself with Roger Goodell. He did. But what you did was you decided that I'm going to go the route of lawyers and beyond, and I'm going to fight you to the hilt when Roger Goodell was simply saying to you, excuse me, now you're challenging my discretion, which is why the collective bargaining agreement and everything else comes into play, which is why Tom Brady, Drew Brees, and everybody else should be looking at the Players Association, and their attorneys, not the commissioner and the National Football League. The commissioner and the National Football League is simply making the case, we are the ultimate power. Mm. Don't you forget it. Mm. And I have no problem with that. The ultimate it abusive to to, power. Well, sometimes Out it is. Out of control listen, listen, power. Listen, listen. It's not the first yep. time a commissioner has abused power mm -hmm. or has, has made a ruling that yeah. seems absolutely egregious. It's happened in all sports. It's happened with David Stern. It happened with Harry, you know, uh, Batman, Gary Batman. It's happened with Bud Selig in some people's eyes. It happens. It's, that's what I mean by saying put on your big boy pants. It happens. Deal with it. Why the hell should you be immune to it? Nobody else is. Can't fight City Hall. He should, tell him. Look at the camera. Tell Tom Brady you can't fight I'll, City I'll Hall. <laughs> Can I have it? You please? can't fight, fight I can't City Hall. Camera. We're going to break. Fight City Hall. You know Tom, you beat him once, fight you beat him again. Thank you. Can't we just feel the vibrations, the good <laughs> vibrations? Come on, guys.